This video will allow us to begin looking at our activity using GeoGebra in order for our students to create parallel and perpendicular lines and then make observations about what those lines can tell us, considering slope, intercepts, angle measurements, and anything else we may want them to look at while we do that. In order for them to create those parallel lines, we're going to use GeoGebra. Notice that this is GeoGebra geometry, not just your standard GeoGebra. So we are needing to go to GeoGebra and then select the geometry option. For this particular activity, we really want to be able to talk about things like slope and intercepts. So we need to go to our gear tool first and show our axes and then show our grid. And while we have multiple options for this particular activity, just the major grid lines will be sufficient. So the first thing that we need to do is to create a line. In order to do that, I'll select the line tool and follow the directions on the screen. Select two points or two positions. I can make them wherever I want them to be to create my line. Now that I have a line, I need to create another point for my next line that I'm hoping to be parallel. To make parallel lines, there is a parallel option button. These are just the basic tools. If we select the more option, we are able to use a lot more different tools to create different objects. We are needing to construct not through these, but the parallel line. So select your point and the line that you want to be parallel to that. So I'm going to select my point. I'm going to select the line that's parallel and it automatically creates those two parallel lines. If I want my students to prove that those lines are parallel, I can create a transversal by selecting line and creating a line that goes through those two lines and then have them measure something like corresponding angles or alternate interior or exterior angles in order to show that those two lines are in fact parallel. To do that, we want to measure our angle. So I'll scroll down and select measure angle and again, follow the directions here. Because I don't have three points, I'm just going to use the select two lines option. So I'll select this one and the one next to it and it measures this angle here at 118.5 degrees. And again, I'm still in the angle tool. Notice how that's highlighted. I do not have to select it again. My transversal in the line. And again, I get 118.5 degrees. So students at this point already know that if we have equal corresponding angles, that these two lines must in fact be parallel. So I know for certain that these two lines are parallel. I can start making observations about them like slope and intercepts and be able to, to help those characteristics or use them to determine if there is any other way for me to construct parallel lines on a coordinate plane without having to measure angles. So I leave the observations for you to look at as well as the creating perpendicular lines. Have fun exploring with GeoGebra and we'll see you when we get back together.